Praise the Lord, precious Rich. Praise, praise the Lord. Thank you for stopping by the Lord's channel today because the Lord has a very good message for you. A message that he had given me, he had taught me by his Holy Spirit. And the message today is about repentance. And the message for today is about repentance and, and that without repentance, a people without repentance is a people that walks in deception. And I'm going to go in depth with that because this deception goes very far. It goes farther than, than may initially uh, be understood. So many times uh, the word of God is being preached and people hear it. They, they think they know it, you know, because they've heard it and they know it. And, but they don't do it. You know, they don't repent from it. But they feel like they know it, you know. Sometimes even in their hearts or in their minds, they might know it to be true, but they don't do it. So, but according to the scriptures, even though they know it to be true, even though, even though they know the word they hear from the Lord, from Jesus Christ is true, they are, if they don't do it, they are still in deception. They're still walking in deception. The reason being is because um, uh, in the Bible, in the book of John, chapter 8. Let's read the book of John, chapter 8. What Jesus says in, in the book of John, chapter 8, verse... Um, verse... Uh, verse... Uh, verse... Verse uh, 31... Through 32. And the scripture says, Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. You see, the Lord Jesus says, If we abide in his word, in other words, if we do what he says, then we are indeed his disciples. In other words, truly, if we abide in his word, truly we are his disciples. We are truly his disciples if we do what he says. Then he says in verse 32, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. He says, if you abide in his word, if you do what he says, then you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. So that is the commandment. That's the only way you're going to know the truth. The only way you really know the truth, you know what Jesus is saying, what God is saying, that you know the truth in everything on how, on, on which way to go. When you, you're faced with a decision and you wonder which one is the right decision to make, which decision will honor the Lord, which decision will help me with my salvation and, and will get me into heaven, and which decision will not. The only way you can know for sure on which way to go, you know, is to know the truth. And the only way you're going to know the truth is if you obey the Lord Jesus, if you abide in his word, because it says if you abide in my word, Jesus says, if you abide in his word, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Now, the other thing I want to bring up is you will know the truth because of the Holy Spirit that has come to you. When you obey the Lord, when you obey the words of Jesus Christ, when you obey the Lord, then the Holy Spirit will come to you and you will know the truth because when the Holy Spirit comes to you, he will lead you into all truth. You know, let's find, let's read this. That's in the scriptures. Let's, that's in the book of John, chapter 16, verse um, 13. And this is what the Lord Jesus himself says again. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you things to come. You see, the Holy Spirit, when he comes to you, to a believer, in Christ Jesus, when he comes to that believer, he comes to lead them into all truth. He comes to lead you into all truth. The reason is because there's so many lies out here. There's so many lies. How are you going to be able to detect every single lie? You know, some lies are have been long established that many people receive and think to be tr the truth. How are you going to be able to pick them out? How are you able to go? How are you going to be able to have the discernment? You know, Except that the Holy Spirit Himself, you know, leads you. Uh, but for Him to to lead you, you have to first abide in the words of Christ. You have to do what Jesus says, because once you do what Jesus says, then the Holy Spirit comes to you. That's why Jesus says, "If you abide in My Word, in other words, if you do what I say, 
then you will know the truth. In other words, you will receive the spirit of truth so you can know the truth. Then you will know the truth, Jesus says, when you abide in his word, then you will know the truth, then the truth will set you free. So that means if anybody's not abiding in the words of Christ, if they're not doing what Jesus is saying, they are not, they are, they, they are not free. And they do not know the truth. You know, even though they heard it, they know what Jesus says, they know what Jesus says to be true. As long as they don't do, they don't know it. Because the enemy will come and lie to them in, in many ways, and they won't be able.